As we sit here Friday afternoon, you've emerged from a meeting at the White House. There is no deal. Take me inside the room. What happened? Uh, well, a very nice, uh, polite discussion. Uh, but I had asked the president uh, and Senator Reid to, to come with a plan to replace the sequester. You know, listen, we've known about this for 16 months. Uh, and yet, even today, there's no plan from Senate Democrats or the White House to replace the sequester. And over the last 10 months, House Republicans have acted twice to replace the sequester. Uh, there are smarter ways to cut spending uh, than these, these automatic Speaker, across that, the board. That's just not true. They've made it very clear, as the president just did, that he has a plan that he's put forward that involves entitlement cuts, that involves spending cuts, that you've made a choice, as have Republicans, to leave tax loopholes in place, and you'd rather have those and live with all these well, arbitrary David, cuts. that's just nonsense. If he had a plan, why wouldn't Senate Democrats go ahead and pass it? The House has acted twice over the last uh, 10 months to replace the sequester. If we're going to, the president got his tax hikes on the, January the 1st. If we're going to get rid of loopholes, let's lower rates and make the tax code fair for all Americans. But let's just talk about that for a second, because this can get complicated, but it's an important point. If most Republican economists believe that tax loopholes is actually tax spending, it's actually spending in the tax code. That's correct. All right, so if you like defense spending, and that's going to be cut arbitrarily, uh, you agree that this is stealth spending in the tax code, why not give on this? Why not allow some revenues to come from tax reform? You protect defense spending, and you unlock the key to getting the kind of entitlement cuts the president says he would give you if he would just give revenues on tax reform. Listen, I have to worked with the president for two years uh, to try to come to an agreement. Uh, unfortunately, we've not been able to do so. Right, but why are you but opposed to that formulation? Because you were for tax reform a couple of months ago. I want tax reform. Republicans want tax reform. We want to bring rates down for all Americans uh, so that we've got a fairer tax code. Uh, but to arbitrarily pull out a couple of uh, a tax expenditures and to say, well, we ought to use that to get rid of the sequester. Listen, well, every American knows Washington has a spending problem. Every American in these tough economic times has to find a way to balance their budget. They've got to make choices. And they expect Washington to live within its means and to make choices as well. Uh, we know that we've got a, a structural deficit. The president has run up $5 trillion worth of debt in the last five years. We have another $1 trillion budget deficit this year. Uh, it's time for the president and Senate Democrats to get serious about the long-term spending problem that we have. Again, and the president has laid this out, he is serious about tackling the long-term spending problem, including dealing with Medicare, but he said it here. There is an ironclad rule that Republicans have, no new revenue. The and without that, there can be no deal. David. The president got $650 billion of higher taxes on the American people on January the 1st. How much more does he want? want? When is the president going to address the spending side of this? But Simpson and Bowles, who are, a lot of people around here think is really the, the paradigm, how to look at long-term debt reduction, they wanted a lot more revenue. You always say, he, look, he got his revenues, end of topic, he got $600 billion. You yourself said... Look, we got 99% of the Bush tax cuts extended. That's a pretty good deal. So you didn't have to give a lot, a lot for that. Only 18% of the Bush tax cuts were rescinded with that $600 billion there were deal. No and spending you've committed cut. to, wait a second, but you've committed to more in the way of revenue just last December. But the president and I never came to an agreement. He could have come to an agreement, but he didn't. He got his tax hikes. It's time to cut spending, and every American knows it. But the president, is he not committed to spending? Does his deal that was still on the table not include over $900 billion in spending cuts over 10 years? Well, which the is president about asked for $1.3 trillion worth of increases uh, in revenue and only put up $850 billion worth of spending cuts. Everybody in Washington knows what the problem is, but nobody wants to address it. I just want to... I, listen, I've yeah. been here for 22 years, and I've watched presidents from both parties. I've watched leaders from both parties kick this can down the road, kick it down the road, and kick it down the road. We're out of road to kick the can down. Uh, we've got a long-term spending problem that has to be addressed. I've spent the last two-plus years trying to bring this town to address this problem, and it is going to be addressed. 